Good morning everyone, my name is Tomislav Golubovic and what we're going to have a look at today in this video is going from an AutoCAD file, so a non-intelligent AutoCAD file of a PNID uh, and then bringing that into Plant 3D and making it intelligent. This question was posed to me by a customer and then I thought it might be best to show uh, this particular customer how to do it and plus as well show everyone else watching this video. So what we have here is a, is a sample pin ID. Uh, again, it was just done in vanilla AutoCAD. There is no intelligence to it. It is all just AutoCAD lines and blocks for things like valves. So if we look at that valve there, it's again just a block, uh, nothing special about it. So what I'm gonna do is just close that off. And we're gonna look at two different ways of bringing this file in. So, uh, within pin ID I've just created two pin ID drawings and I can do an xref of this other pin ID into my plant 3d pin ID so here it is here uh, again it's just an xref or an, or an underlay uh, and what I'm going to do is switch over to tile mode and show you what we can do. So with this, it's really just a matter of going to a primary line segment, for example, and then what you can do is snap to obviously the, the existing line. Uh, me, I, I would personally probably just trace over that line near where it is already drawn. So then that way, you know that your new line is going to be on a snap according to the grid that you set up in the new drawing. So then what we can do, we can keep running with this. So I've got some primary lines, I've got some secondary line segments. So same thing, just snap to near where they are. And then what I might do is draw. So this line here coming down off here is not really linked to anywhere else. So I can follow the new path down and around. So what I can do is go to my secondary line, snap to again near where it was, and then down the bottom, if you look at the command line, it says continue the S line group, the new one or link it. So I want to go new. And now I'm drawing a new line. So it's click, 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 and then select the end. So now if I look at my data manager, you can see that it is slowly populating my primary line segments and my secondary line segments as well. So if we want to populate some information in that, I already have obviously the attribute from the old drawing. I can right click on it, assign a tag. So I know that it's a 50. Um, I know that it is a 5000B spec. The service is NH and the line number is 114A. So Again, we can customize this inside Plant 3D. I'm just leaving it um, out of the box, but again, you can customize that to suit your own project. So as we progress, you can see here that with these primary line segments, we do have tags on them. And if I do the same thing with these secondary line segments, so I know it's a 50, I know the spec is 300A, the service is an LC, and the line number is 1600. Okay, and again, you can see all of that in our data manager. So that's something that we can uh, obviously also report on. So what we can do is at some point we can detach this pen ID in the background and then start putting in things like off page connectors and then we can start linking them to other sheets. So I know these two have off page connectors. 
and then there we go. So that's how we can bring in an old pen ID as a new one. With option two, similar kind of thing, but what we can do is grab um, a portion of the line. So let's say I'm going to do a copy paste into my pen ID here. So I'll just switch tile mode. So this is, I've copy pasted lines off the non-intelligent pen ID into my intelligent pen ID. So what we can do now is select that object and right click on it and then convert it to a pen ID object so I know that it's a primary line segment and it takes on the values of the primary line segment in this project. So do the same thing with the one below and then do the same thing with the one below that. So it's a primary and a couple secondaries. So you can see that they all inherit the values. We can put these on as blocks later so I can remove those. And then just go through and continue stretching that line. So if I wanted to put that symbol back, um, it might be one of the insulation fittings or icons that we have within the project. Okay, so then if we keep going with these lines here, I can convert them to secondaries. And then same thing with the blocks. So this block, I right click on it, convert it to a pen ID object, and I know that it's an inline item. So it's a needle valve, and go OK. So what you can see there, if I get remove some of the old symbology, it's become an intelligent block, and then I can substitute and replace it. So even you can see with this line here, it's it's got the arrow the wrong way. We select it, right click, edit, reverse flow, and then it, it flows the right way. And if we have a look at the data manager, we can see inside our database that slowly it's all populating. You can see we just need to start putting in some tags um, and even some tags on these valves. So that's just a quick video demonstrating that you can convert old AutoCAD files into plant PNID drawings with intelligence in the background.